Hey guys, um, I hope you're having a fantastic week. I have not done a book haul in a couple of months, um, which is kind of impressive in and of itself to me. <laughs> um, but it is about time. I did quite a bit of book shopping since I last posted a book haul about just about three months ago. Um, <laughs> so I have gathered up what I could find in order to show to you the books that I've gotten. This is probably the last book haul I will be doing for quite some time. Um, Andy over at Estella's Revenge has decided to host what she's calling hashtag read your own damn books. Um, and so I, I like the idea. Um, I'm really hoping to use it as an opportunity to, to start reusing my library. I moved in July and since then I I don't know, my first initial impressions of my new library were not fantastic and so I've kind of been avoiding it for no real reason. Um, so I'm going to, this is the last one for a while, probably until about June. Um, <laughs> but let's get to it. I have quite a few books to show you because I have very little impulse control and I had some bookish friends come to town. Um, <laughs> So the first book that I have is Sherlock Holmes. This is a bind up edition of all of the novels. Uh, they're by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. These, this is a really pretty edition with like the French flaps. Um, the, I don't know if you can see this. It's very Dickens-esque almost in the, the way it portrays London. Um, it feels really nice too. This is a, a penguin Classics Deluxe Edition, and I saw this and I kind of started drooling and couldn't resist. Um, I should be reading those. That's one of my, my fun classics that I want to pick up this next year. Uh, my grandmother, a couple of weeks ago when I went and visited her, uh, gave me a copy of I Am Malala. Uh, Malala is a fairly influential person. She was shot by the Taliban a number of times, and since then she's become kind of a figurehead for... Um, increasing education in the Middle East. I have Wild Alone. This is a book I actually don't know very much about. It's by Krasi Zorkova. Um, this is by a Bulgarian author, which is part of what drew me to it. But it's about a young girl who leaves Bulgaria for her for, for the first time to go to school in America. And she comes across Wild Alones, which it says, they are forest witches who beguile and entrap men, and Thea, that's the main character, will discover a family secret bound to transform her forever. Um, <laughs> so of course I, I could not resist. A couple of months ago, um, Rachel over at Colonati mentioned that she had been rereading some Patricia McKillop. I had never heard of Patricia McKillop, but I guess Rachel likes her. Uh, she does warn that she's probably an acquired taste. Um, but I did pick up two of her books. The first is In the Forests of Sarah, and then Umbria and Shadow. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the publication order of these is. I, I think from what I understand that these two were published one right after the other. Um, but I will be double checking before I actually pick them up. I think they're companion novels. Um, but they were on, they were just a steal at my used bookstore. So I thought of Rachel and I picked it up. I picked up A Brief History of Se Seven Killings by Marlon James. This is a book that has won the man Booker. It's been everywhere. It is about uh, these killings that surrounded the death um, and assassination attempts of Bob Marley, who's not really somebody who I know a ton about, but it's come with very high acclaim. I am hoping to read the other book that was really being seriously kind of talked about for the man booker, which is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara um, later in the year, but I picked up this one first. I have Jane Linskold's Artemis Awakening. This is about a pleasure planet uh, that people forget about and then rediscover. <laughs> um, it's a mass market. It's not terribly long. Um, it sounded like a fun read, but we will see. I, I have Michael Moorcock's The Whispering Swarm. Uh, this is supposed to take place in the 1200s around Henry III. Um, so that will be, I think, pretty interesting. There's something called Whitefriars. 
Um, and it also splits its time, I guess, between World War II as well. I have a friend who really wanted me to read this book so I could tell him if it's any good. I picked up a copy of The Fox Woman. This is by Keej Johnson. Uh, this is a book about a man who's a fox hunter and there's like a, uh, it's got a lot of magical realism. Um, his wife is seeing, um, like foreseeing danger related to this fox that he's hunting. It's supposed to be really pretty and kind of fable-esque. I have two books by Kat Valente. Uh, the first is Six Gun Snow White. I have already finished this and really liked it. Uh, this is a retelling, of course, of Snow White. Um, and the setting, instead of being in kind of magic fairyland, is in the Wild West. <laughs> um, I will be doing, I think, a review of this one later, but I did quite enjoy it. I also have by her The Melancholy of Mecha Girl. This is actually a short story collection. Um, Kat Valente, I have a couple of her short stories in some anthologies that I have on my shelves, but I wanted to have something that was kind of more focused on her. Um, so these are, of course, all of her stuff. Um, and the newest trade for Revival, which is kind of a not quite zombie story that takes place in Wisconsin. <laughs> I've been really liking it. There are five other trades. I've read them all. And then I have four Terry Pratchett books. I kind of went on a Terry Pratchett binge. Um, <laughs> I finished I Shall Wear Midnight, which is the fourth Tiffany Aching book. And I wanted to go out and get the fifth one, which is The Shepherd's Crown, which is the last one, which is right, right here, right here, this pretty guy. But it wasn't actually in my store. I looked all over. It said they had it in stock. I like hunted down some poor guy who I made run around the store for like 20 minutes trying to find this book. Couldn't find it. Uh, <laughs> so I, I moved on and I um, got Weird Sisters and Mort. I've been wanting to read both the witches kind of stories and the death stories in Discworld. So I got those and then I went back, again, couldn't find the book, and picked up Equal Rights, which is about Escarina Smith, or Smythe, um, who is the woman who becomes a wizard in Discworld. Um, I wanted to read this one, wasn't going with the intention of picking it up, and did anyway. And then, of course, I found The Shepherd's Crown. I have already finished this one. You should read it. Mostly you should just read all the Tiffany Aching books. This one I think is a little unfinished, you can tell, but still good. Still very good. Um, <laughs> so there you have it. That's more books than I probably needed. Um, but it'll give me something to do since I won't be able to purchase any. I don't think I can even hold all of these up. They're pretty precarious. You can't see it, but they just, hold on. They just scatter themselves everywhere. Those are my pajama pants. Um, <laughs> and I guess what I will say instead of holding the books up is that you should let me know if any of these is really good, if you've really liked them, if you want me to read them or do a review, you know the drill. Um, <laughs> I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. We'll talk to you later. Bye.